afternoon all just a little quick video <coughs> just for anybody who might be interested <coughs> this is my Tamiya TTO2B Neo Scorcher oh I've dedicated it to a task but um, so far I haven't had a chance to use it but uh, it's got a job to do but um, what's going on right Right, the only spare feasible speed controller I can use for this now is my replacement castle. For anybody who watched one of my other videos, they might remember my original castle ESC Sidewinder ESC wasn't programming. Uh, it was just wasn't behaving right, making a motor run poorly. So they've it took about a month, but they've sent me a new one and um yeah and the etronics one which was a lot smaller in this has packed up so i've gained one lost one which is always the way i guess so anyway this was the uh well it's what's left of it this is the radio tray the um what the receiver sits inside it would normally sit there and the uh originally there's a small little Tamiya electronic speed controller which goes on top of the servo which I don't uh, do have but it's not in there so in order to make this work I to put that there and this there so I cut this out to put the uh, slot the e-tronics in there but it was, a, it was a whole lot smaller now I could do away with this but the only reason I decided to keep it was because the aerial the straw for the aerial is there and this is what holds the aerial and the hole is already preset in the body for it in the right place as well so, and I could poke the straw in anywhere but it's like weird you know what's going to hold it in place basically so I'm just going to work on that um, so it's going to be that I've got to think of um, something I'm probably just going to saw it straight straight down there I think that would be the the only option the other thing I would love the only other speed control I've got is the one that my lossy came with which is this uh, what do you call it dynamite but as you can see <sighs> just a slight overkill don't know if you can see <coughs> it really is really is an overkill so that can't be used <clears throat> I'd also like to try however I don't know see what do you reckon this motor is a cheap one bought off uh, eBay from China it goes pretty quickly it's geared up it's supposed to be 5200 kV <clears throat> it's a 3654 pole and I've got this one spare which is a, I don't know what you call this, a 550 size can. Uh, but it's a dynamite fuse, it's a 3800 kV. I'd love to stick it in there. But I just don't think, just don't think there's room for it somewhere. I just don't know. It'd be very tight if I do. Very tight. I'm just curious whether this would be any faster or slower than something that's rated as 5200 kV it'd be very interesting no less anyway that's uh, that's one the other one my lossy right so what we got going on with this one right well madness <clears throat> proper cowboy job so what we've done is I've installed a battery I've installed a battery tray here I don't know if you can see that for a 9 volt square battery that is because the receiver 
with these castle electronic speed controllers, the uh, the, the, the uh, motor fan, uh, the, the ESC calling fan, runs off the battery for the receiver, battery terminal in the receiver. So, <coughs> unfortunately, now I've decided to, also I've decided to run the, the motor fan on the castle for the 800 kV because the motor does get quite warm so I plug that since it comes out there I plug that straight it's just a straight line across into the receiver and now it leaves me a problem of running the calling fan for the ESC I've also I've got a, a channel 3 there but I don't know what it's for it's auxiliary channel but as soon as I plug it in, the fan starts working. However, the, ser the steering servo became like really, really slow. And I don't want to burn the uh, receiver out. And I don't want to blow nothing up. So I can't risk it. So I've come up with a real botchy idea. So the wire for that comes up there. It connects as so as I can detach it. I can detach it like that, it comes away and I can lift the body back and uh, yeah and then I run that with the 9 volt battery up the top there what do you reckon of that? I think that's a bodge job quite possibly put the switch put the switch, put a switch there Run the wires across there. Run the wires across there for it. And it plugs in here. Let's have a quick look. All the way around. Mm. Yeah, here we go. Alright, that's in. So that's that idea. <laughs> He's sitting with a battery on his lap, bless him. It's as big as he is. Right, so, let's switch it on. Nothing happened. <gasps> Ta da! Forgot to plug it in. Yeah, <laughs> nothing happening. Brilliant. Oh well, so much for that idea. Was working, now it's not. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll probably just go back to using using that because at least at least the uh, ESC fan runs off its uh, own own electronic speed controller. The fan runs off its off itself, sort of thing. Saving me a, a battery terminal spare in the receiver for the motor fan, which is a pain in the backside. But, uh, I guess it'll have to be my little bodge job. It was working last night when I tried it, but not now. So, oh, I don't know. But anyway, that's that. All these little brain waves I have that just quite often or not don't work out. Anyway. There's my nosy cat. Wait, stop licking yourself out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.